Hi, Rachel. How are Hi, you doing? Good, thank you. This is a great event here. Thank you so much. We're really excited about it. And what a turnout! You know, I know. a lot of people here, and Holly Morris from Channel Five's mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. This is a, a, a incredible display, yes. and it represents yeah. how many jeans? Thirty-three thousand eighty-eight pairs of jeans. Wow. Yeah, we have set the Guinness World Record for the most items of clothing collected to recycle. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this with National Geographic Kids magazine uh, for four months. We asked all of our readers to send in their old denim. And they responded, obviously. Mm. And um, all the jeans here that you'll see today are going to be recycled with cotton incorporated to be recycled into insulation for homes that have been damaged by hurricanes and tornadoes and other natural disasters. So this is called constructive work, if you, if you in a sense. Yeah. And how long did it take to set this display up? It's like two days. Yeah. Oh, it looks yeah. great. Yeah, they started on Monday evening and, and it was finished by this morning. And how long will it be here? Two weeks. Wonderful. I found someone who can uh, give us an example of what the uh, end result will be. Now, this is the insulation, right? That's correct. Um, jeans go from, they go through a uh, recycling process and they become ultra touch natural cotton fiber insulation. Mm. The manufacturer of Bonded Logic makes this. Uh, they're based in uh, Chandler, Arizona. And this is an environmentally safe form of insulation. It doesn't emit any volatile organic chemicals. Mm -hmm. It resists mold and mildew. It has a class A fire rating. It has about a 30% better sound absorption than traditional insulation. So it's really, it's a great product. And with the Cotton from Blue to Green program, what's so great about it is that in the past, all of the denim that has been recycled into the insulation has been donated to Habitat for Humanity oh. to help rebuild communities that have gone through natural disasters and such, mostly in the Gulf Coast region. And so Habitat has appreciated the donation of the in the donation of the insulation because it's very volunteer friendly. As you can see, we can touch sure, it. Sure, yeah, it's very soft. Now, when we think of uh, typical uh, attic insulation, mm -hmm. the pink stuff, uh, mm -hmm. fiberglass, etc., is this a reasonable uh, substitute for that? This, this is a fabulous substitute. It has the Class A fire rating, mm -hmm. uh, the R value, the R factor, and um, it, it doesn't emit any volatile organic chemicals, unlike traditional fiberglass insulation. So it really, for long term in your home, for installing it for your family and energy efficiency. It's really a great product. Okay, now I'm sure you have other organizations now, the building industries that might take an interest in this. The National Building Museum is not far from mm -hmm. here. So have you brought this uh, idea to the builders and, and Absolutely. contractors? Bonded Logic actually has um, a network of distributors mm -hmm. across the country as well as HomeDepot.com where people can source ultra-touch products, mm -hmm. multi-purpose rolls, batting uh, insulation and other types of insulation that are environmentally friendly. Mm -hmm. Bonded Logic works with the U.S. Green Building Council mm -hmm. and lots of organizations that are very interested in this type of material. Cotton Incorporated loves working with Bonded Logic on this mm -hmm. because it comes from denim, which is cotton. It's sustainable, right. it's recyclable. And everyone has denim. denim Everybody's got it. Mm -hmm. the, the average mm -hmm. person in the U.S. has about seven to eight pairs of jeans in their closet and 15 pieces of denim between shirts and jackets and mm -hmm. skirts. and So uh, there's plenty of denim to go around. Interesting. Yes, indeed. Well, when you think about the varying prices of jeans, I mean, when you go into, to a, let's say, a typical discount store, you can get a decent pair of jeans for as less as as low as twenty five dollars. But in some cases, it's ten times that amount. You're I don't know if you can right. always afford to turn in your jeans or something like <laughs> well, that. Well, you're, you're right. I mean, you know, styles change, mm -hmm. people's body shapes change, mm -hmm. um, whatever it may be. Cotton Incorporated for the Cotton from Blue to Green program actually works with a variety of retailers to do just that, so that. Consumers across America can turn in their old denim. Mm -hmm. We can help then recycle it into ultra touch insulation. Mm -hmm. And then, as a consumer, if you've turned in your old denim at that particular retailer, you may get a percentage off the purchase of a new pair. I see. So, there's an incentive for you there to do that. Okay. Yep. It's there kind of can. like that clunkers program applied to the uh, denim <laughs> right? industry, right? Okay. Well, great. Well, I, I think it's wonderful that you're doing this and that the display is available. It will be for another two weeks. That's correct. It'll be here in Union Station for two weeks. Okay. So, we've got the record 33,088 pairs of jeans. Mm -hmm. It'll um, create enough insulation for over 60 homes, mm -hmm. and it will help rebuild communities in need. It's here in Washington, D.C., and you can get more information at cottonfrombluetogreen.org. Okay, great. Well, thanks for sharing with us, and we've got our demo right here, and, of course, a lot more to see, and right here at Union that. Station, right on the red line, so no excuse not to come down and take Thank a look you. at it. Thank you. Thank you very All right. much. So we'll see you later, and uh, appreciate your sharing the information with us. Absolutely. That's what I call a promotion.